everyone, today I am making Christmas cookies with Dexter. I followed this recipe which is a non-vegan recipe but I substituted for vegan ingredients. We obviously started by washing our hands. Dexter really enjoyed baking these cookies, we don't really do a lot of baking because I don't really like doing it. I don't mind but like even following this recipe it was a little bit difficult because obviously I had to substitute the non-vegan ingredients for vegan ingredients and I will pop up on the screen how much of each ingredient you need to use but I did find that I had to add more flour because it basically ended up making a cake consistency, like a cake mixture consistency, and obviously I needed a cookie dough, so I did end up adding more flour. So instead of using caster sugar, I am using organic coconut sugar because it's just a little bit healthier than caster sugar. I wanted to make healthier cookies. The other ingredient I swapped out was two tablespoons of golden syrup. Instead of golden syrup, I used maple syrup, which is again, just a little bit healthier. So here I am substituting egg for a flax egg. So to do that, you need one tablespoon of flaxseed to three tablespoons of hot water. You then just leave it on the side for five minutes to thicken up. So the recipe called for placing the ingredients in a blender and pulsing. So I started by putting it in my blender and then I realised that you can't actually pulse in my blender, it was trying to blend it. So I switched to Dexter's little food processor, but even when I was pulsing it, it was just all getting stuck to the blades and stuff and it wasn't really working. So in the end, I decided to do it the good old fashioned way and got out my bowl and my trusty wooden spoon and just mixed it the old-fashioned way instead which worked a lot better so here you can see me attempting to pulse the ingredients and it just wasn't happening so I gave up in the end And here we are doing it the good old fashioned way. So you want to obviously mix, not like mix it like cake mixture, you want it to just resemble breadcrumbs more, more than anything. So, and then here we were putting in some more ingredients. So the sugar, cinnamon, and the orange zest.
and then mixing in two tablespoons of maple syrup instead of golden syrup in with the flaxseed. You can see it's gone slightly thicker, you would want it to be a lot thicker than this so I would try it with two tablespoons of water instead of three but when I googled it it said three tablespoons but for some reason it was just quite liquidy still and I think this is why it was more cake mixture-y because obviously a flax egg is a little bit more liquidy than a real egg so So if anyone's interested in making these cookies with the vegan recipe, I will leave the recipe in the description down below. This is why I don't bake much. So the next part of the recipe was to put the dough in, wrap the dough in cling film and then put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. I really enjoyed cutting out all of the shapes with the cookie cutters and he also really enjoyed eating them so I'm guessing they taste pretty good because well I did have a couple and they do taste good he enjoyed eating them which was good he told me he had lots of fun doing it so I'm hoping that we can try and do some more baking in the future obviously it's a little bit difficult with Miami because there's a lot of cleaning to do afterwards um we did end up with like flour all over the floor and stuff so it takes quite a lot out of you so if you are someone with a chronic illness who wants to make these cookies my best suggestions for you are to make sure you get all of your ingredients out in front of you to sit down while you're doing it because it takes quite a long time and to do it on a day where you're not feeling too horrific because obviously the cleaning is the worst part and I have still left quite a few dishes from baking for Ben when he gets home so I feel really bad but hopefully he will just get those dishes done for me and put them away because I just did not have the energy after this because it took us about two hours in the end to get these cookies made so I just kind of gave up and we ended up spending the afternoon watching Happy Feet because Dexter really likes penguins and we've never actually sat down and watched Happy Feet before so I thought why not plus it gave us the opportunity to rest after doing that activity.
So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you make these Christmas cookies and I probably won't see you now until the new year so because I'm gonna have a little break and just spend some time with my family and um, just make Christmas memories and new year memories and things and I will see you in the new year with my new goals and my minimalism journey and all sorts I've got all sorts planned for the new year so please do stick around I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy new year and I will see you in 2023